Real fractions taught by real people. Okay, class, calm down. Turn your attention to the board, please. If you notice my little note here, you will be learning about fractions today. Now, if you please, turn your page to 147 in your math book. Barbie, read the first paragraph aloud, please. Okay, a fraction is a part of a whole. If you have a pizza and you cut it into four parts, it is still a whole. If someone came up and ate a piece off of the pizza, there would be three-fourths left of the pizza. Because there was four, but now there is three. Good. Blue, please read the next paragraph aloud. A fraction looks like this. It is divided into two parts. The numerator and the denominator. Like the pizza above, the three would go on top and the four would go on the bottom. A line always divides a fraction. Mr. B-Lab, what are a numerator and a denominator? Well, Snuggly, that's a very good question. As the book said, a line always divides a fraction. Here, let's use the book as an example of a pizza. You are feeding four people, so you need to divide the pizza into four parts. The four goes on the bottom because it's a whole. The denominator goes on the bottom. Right now there is four fourths of the pizza or one whole. If someone took a freeze, go stuffed! Enough. All right, you can unfreeze now. As I was saying, if someone took a piece of pizza, there would only be three left. Then you put the three on top. If you wanted to simplify it, the numerator goes on the top, and the denominator goes on the bottom. Now, class, your homework is to find any fractions you can around the house or outside. Get your chair up right now. And Allie, sit down, or you're going to be in trouble. And Aunt Hallie is always in trouble all the time, and Blake's always out of the room, and Teddy never remembers anything. <laughs> and, and we're going to be doing our pop up book today. Okay, bye. Our homework is to find the fractions around our house or outside. Let's do our homework right now. Yeah! yeah. We're having a competition. You guys find some fractions and we find yeah. some fractions. It's, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Do you guys want to come along? It's going to yep. be so fun. We're doing our homework, but it's school. It's like school work. <laughs> yeah, it would be really awesome if you guys could come along with us. Oh, oh yeah, we should. Great. Yeah, come on, guys. Oh, yeah, we should totally do that. Uh, whoops. Uh, 
Sorry. Come on, let's go find some fractions. One, two, three, four. There's four pieces. Only one is shaded, which means that one fourth is shaded. One, two, three. Cool. There are three pieces, but one is shaded. That is one third. Okay, there's one, two, three, four. There's two shaded, which means that's two fourths. Okay. There is three, yeah, three. There's three pieces here. None of them are shaded, but they're all the same. So that means there's one whole or three thirds. All right, there's two pieces. There's one shaded, which means it's one half. One half is equal to two fourths. Yay! There's three pieces to this puzzle. Two are shaded. That's two thirds. Okay, let's look at the scoreboard. It's, it's a, a tie. tie! That's the end of our program today. Real fractions taught by real people. Okay, bye.